Hi, I'm Rohan Puwada. I work as a staff engineer at Qualcomm India Private Limited, and I work with the machine learning customer engineering team. Today, I will show you the procedure to use the Qualcomm Neural Processing SDK for AI and create hardware accelerated machine learning models for Snapdragon platforms. The SDK can be downloaded from developer.qualcom.com where you can also find a useful tutorial on how to install the SDK on your Linux workstation. As a developer, you first build and train machine learning models like YOLO v5, LXNet, etc. based on your use case. You can execute models created using various machine learning frameworks like TensorFlow, PyTorch, Cafe2, and many more on Snapdragon platforms using this SDK. In today's video, I will demo the steps using Inception v3 TensorFlow model as an example. Once you have a good enough model which suits your requirements, compile the machine learning model into a deep learning container or a DLC file using the conversion tools shared along with the SDK. The converted model is optimized for Snapdragon platforms. You can choose the appropriate tool as per the framework being used like SNP PyTorch to DLC or SNP Onyx to DLC. You can see the usage of SNP Cafe 2 to DLC tool on the screen. In this demo, I will use the SNP TensorFlow to DLC tool as this is a PV file. You can find the details like input dimensions and name of the output node by opening the PV file in Neural Network Viewer like Netron. As you can see, the DLC file is generated. Next, let's see how we can further optimize the model by quantizing the DLC file to lower precisions like int8, int16, fp16, etc. Snapdragon platforms are engineered to work on lower precisions with minimal loss of accuracy. This ensures industry-leading performance using very little power. You can create the quantized model using this command. During the quantization phase, it is important to pass representative data which covers wide range of scenarios across all your classes. The representative data can be a subset of your training data as well. In case of Inception v3, we convert the images to raw files and create the list of all the raw files. We pass it to the tool using the input underscore list argument. Please note the enable underscore HTTP flag used to quantize the model for hexagon tensor processor runtime. The flag may have to be changed depending on the hardware you are using. You can run the platform validator tool to identify all the runtimes available in the hardware. Let's quantize a DLC file now. As you can see, the size of the quantized file is much smaller than the original .pb file. Your model is now ready to run on Snapdragon platforms. You can find more details on how to integrate the models into your applications and the tools used today 
at developer.qualcom.com. Thank you.